I've got a lot of requests via comments or inbox messages on YouTube about people asking me to make a tutorial or explain how to make my cities that I've made on SketchUp and I always thought it seemed pretty obvious because the level of modeling is really basic um, but evidently people want to know so I thought I'd make a short video just explaining the basic techniques I use. All the techniques are really basic and it's just implementation on a very big scale. So I'll take you through the basic techniques with a simple really small chunk of a city. So to start with, as always, I just draw, you know, a large, really large rectangle. My uh, fifth city had a nine square kilometer rectangle initially, before it was extended. And then always remember to extrude the rectangle before you actually start drawing on it. Roads are drawn with, again, just rectangles that are conjoined together. I find I used to use the freehand tool a lot more for recording, uh, for drawing roads like curvy roads and stuff, but that can make it a lot harder in the long run, especially when it comes to drawing buildings, because when, when roads are drawn straight and in a grid sort of system, like in the USA, for example, all the buildings can easily be aligned to it when you're drawing buildings, but here's an example of a curved road as well. It's just the freehand tool, and it does require a bit more precision and uh, alignment. I am sorry about the quality of the recording. I'm using the Windows game recorder, but it doesn't like to record SketchUp really. I always extrude the roads down about 25 centimeters I think. It's a little larger than in real life but it's just a noticeable amount to show pavements really. Texturing, I usually use the black asphalt texture. Um, you can use the grey asphalt texture if you want but I use the black one because it helps distinguish the roads a bit from the buildings which are usually going to be grey especially from the roof it makes the roads look more like roads rather than just pavements or whatever. Buildings, I just usually draw basic shapes especially for skyscrapers, squares, rectangles and variants of that. You can conjoin rectangles, you can conjoin squares together um, but you align them about on average four meters away from the road to create pavements and around the same distance or less apart from each other and that way you can create little alleyways into back streets and uh, centers of city blocks. Uh, adding the circle tool for example here definitely helps make buildings look a little more unique and realistic and then you can just erase the inside lines and then you've got a completely new shape. Using the uh, offset tool helps add an extra bit of detail uh, quite quickly and easily where you just uh, can create ridges or extending parts of buildings like so. Um, a lot of buildings will have rooftops with small walls on the roof to stop people falling off the edge and that's what that's used for. And then you can just extrude the rest of the buildings and that's basically the process. It's very repetitive but you just have to extrude a lot of buildings with taller buildings in the center of the city and then dwindle it out to bungalows or two-story short houses on the edge of the city. As for drawing the actual houses, the shapes are really random. I mean, you can do basic rectangles, you can do rectangles that have other circles attached to them or more complex shapes that you can draw. I kept it pretty simple in my cities. You can add little patio areas, but it's it's going to be it's just going to be a basic model. So, in the end, it doesn't have to be that detailed, but just make sure you have a variety of houses to spread across the city because you don't want one or two or three of the exact same house across the entire city so I think I made about 10. I also made sort of larger um, what's the word terraced houses that kind of keep it varied as well but there were about 10 or so maybe more scattered around the city and it, it, it kept it pretty fresh I think kept the streets looking all different but um, if you select all the edges excluding the face of each drawing you can simply copy and paste the houses throughout the city and then you can also, once you've pasted them, you can rotate them so that they can align with the roads. And that's the gist of it. Like the buildings, it's a case of repetition. Just repeating everything you're doing throughout the entire city. That's the main thing I want to get across. Making the cities isn't hard at all. It's just a bit boring, if I'm honest. 
and um, quite re very repetitive. A tip to um, save time on extruding, if you have a, a lot of buildings that you want extruded to the same height, say 6 meters, you can extrude 1 to 6 meters and then double click the next surface you want and it'll extrude to the same distance. And that's what I did when I was making uh, my houses in my uh, fifth city, so it saves a bit of time, I think. Another little detail you can add is adding just bits and bobs on top of roofs of apartments and skyscrapers. That would be uh, pipes and uh, vents and air conditioning units and stuff like that, or little access doors. And it just adds a bit of detail to the city. And that's what I did on the skyscrapers in my f other city. You don't have to do it on every building, I just did it on the skyscrapers. To texture, I used um, specific building textures that I downloaded from the internet. You can Google, you know, SketchUp building textures, and there are loads of different ones for apartments, skyscrapers, new buildings, run down buildings, anything you want, really. Um, another tip here is using the soft eraser tool can get rid of those ugly lines on curves that join straight surfaces, so that's why I use there. But, um, what I'm doing here is just scattering a variation of textures throughout each building just to keep it varied. I mean, if you make a large enough city, you're not going to have enough building textures, I think, for every unique building. So you'll have to um, start to repeat the textures. But if you keep them spaced out enough, you barely even notice. And that's what I had to do when I made my city. One point about textures is that they need to be scaled properly. In my first in my sorry, in my second and third city, these textures were not scaled properly properly at all. And you can basically when you import the texture image in the settings on the texture menu, you can change the dimensions. And what I do is I get the uh, character model and a three meter high door because that's about the same size as one floor of a building. I get that on a building and then I keep adjusting the scale of the texture until it matches that so one floor equals one floor that I've drawn and it only takes a little bit a little bit of trial and error but once you have scaled all your textures you'll never have to do it again and I think that's the good thing um, and it means you're just gonna create a much more realistic looking city if you if you check my um, my second city it's on the SketchUp warehouse the textures are just not to scale whatsoever and it really does not help make the city look realistic but yeah I mean with the textures you just keep on going and keep on um, covering every building uh, if you want the detailed textures the rooftops I just use different shades of grey really uh, keep them light grey I don't want them too dark because it can just make the city look really dark it also depends on your uh, lighting settings but uh, housing rooftops, I just use the roof, uh, roofing section of the textures menu. Uh, they've got a decent selection in there. And it doesn't have to be too varied, really, but just varied enough. So that's the basic gist of it, really. I mean, I think I've covered all the basics that you need to um, know how to do everything I made in this video and everything I made in all my cities. And as you can see, I worked on this tiny little square for, like, five ten more minutes and it's already got that same sort of feel as all the other cities I've made so really everything I've covered will cover everything you'll need to know roads and pavements and extruding buildings texturing detailed textures texture scaling uh, that's about it really I mean you can tweak the um, shadows and fog settings as much as you want to get the right effect for the uh, atmosphere and Shadows definitely do make the city look a lot better, but um, other than that, there's nothing else really to learn. It's just practice, 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 and that's the that's the uh, the idea of it really. I mean, I've just I made them and I've made them to the detail that they are because I've been using SketchUp for so many years. Uh, but yeah, that that's that's all there is to it. Um, I'll hopefully be doing more tours of my other city models soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.